great Wednesday morning, October 7th, 2020, to God be the glory for yet another opportunity to praise his name and do his will. Man, doesn't time pass so quickly? Whew. Just constant. And you wake up, go to sleep. You know, another day, and it's just like, psh, 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 psh. before you know it, it's the next month and the next one. And we thank the Lord that he's able to pace us and allow us to get refreshment in between the obligations, the duties, and the callings that he has for us. And that brings me to the second to last verse of Romans 15. I know I needed this today. I needed to be revived, renewed, refreshed. And Paul's prayer was this in verse 32, that I may come unto you with joy by the will of God. Don't you want to be able to go in to the appointed places that the Lord would have you to be in today? That you would be able to go there rejoicing, knowing that you are in the center and the perfect will of God. And also, he said, and may with you be refreshed. So you're doing the will of God, you're serving, and also not only are people receiving a benefit who will be there as far as what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're bringing out, that they will be renewed. And while you're doing it, while you're ministering, while you are giving out of your heart and out of your resources, you yourself will be replenished. Oh my, that's the service of God. That's the work of God. And in chapter 15, it says, well, Paul is saying that we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak because we know it's hard out here. So many people are suffering mentally, emotionally. We're to pick that up and help them along the way. Bear each other's burdens. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification, to strength. Mm -hmm. For even Christ pleased not himself. And he was the master, the servant, and he still is. But as it is written, the reproaches of me that reproach thee fell on me. So he took it for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So that's why we're picking up this knowledge and trying to implement it in our lives. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another, according to Christ Jesus. That ye may, with one mind and one mouth, glorify God, even our Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, receive ye one another and verse 13 now the god of hope fill you with all joy there it goes again we got to be filled with joy lord replenish us refill us renew us with joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power not our own but through the power of the holy ghost amen <laughs> that's what the lord wants us to do today and to spread it out and while we're doing our work, we want to keep this under our belt. And we would have read this today in our to-do list. Woo! Psalms 37. Trust in the Lord and do good. Continue to do what the Lord has put on your plate. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. All of your needs will be supplied. Commit thy way unto the Lord. And trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light just like the sun rose today this morning yeah he's with us his illumination his spirit his joy his peace let's do the work of god oh i feel refreshed right now and i hope you do too have a wonderful wednesday in the morning and just enjoying his presence all the day as you spread his love and his presence with a T, his gifts. Good day.